Hello, my name is JT Tepley. I'm with Elotech, and today I'm giving you a demonstration on Elotech's TCP Converter 2, which is a device used to connect a USB or RS-232 device to your local area network. Some other Elotech products that I'll be mentioning during this video. First of all, the TWN3 is one of Elotech's RFID readers, and there's many different types depending on what type of technology you're trying to read, but the important thing to note is that it's a single technology and single frequency reader. The next generation of the TWN3 is the TWN4, and it's a dual frequency reader, and it's an all-in-one reader in that it can read all technologies. And finally, in the bottom right is the TCP converter, and that's the first generation of the TCP converter 2. Okay, so back to the TCP converter 2. On the top, you'll see that there's four LED lights. There'll be a green power and ready light. There's a busy light that'll be red when it's initializing, and then also another red light is the error light if something goes wrong. And on the front side, you're going to see a USB port, a mini USB port, and an RS-232 port here. And on the back side, you have two Ethernet ports. One will run to your network, and the other one will run to your printer. You have a small reset button, and then a 5-volt power supply port. And when you buy the TCP Converter 2, it's going to come in a kit, and you're going to get an Ethernet cable, and also the 5-volt power supply. So this example today, I'm using the TCP Converter 2 along with Elotech's TWN4 and a printer. The printer I'm using behind me is an HP OfficeJet Pro 8600 series, and like many other printers out there, it does not have any user interface, so it cannot communicate directly with Elotech's TWN4. This example is relatable to maybe a corporate setting or a university setting where you have multiple users printing to the same printer, and you would like each user to authenticate themselves with a badge before the print job is actually approved and sent to the printer. So I've already gone ahead and plugged in my TCP converter 2, and I have my TWN4 running to the U USB port on the converter, and I have one Ethernet cord running to my network and another one running to my printer. On my converter, I have two green lights, one's the power light and one's the ready light, and I also have a green light on my TWN4. And I'm also going to use something called the TCP converter 2 admin pack, and you get this free whenever you purchase a TCP converter too. You just need to contact our technical support team and there'll be an email at the end of this at the end of this video. Within this pack under the doc folder, you'll find our user manual, which looks like this. And then also under tools is something called tc2config, which is a search tool to find all TCP converter 2s on your network and it's used to change the configuration of those converters. So here I can highlight it and I can open up the home page, home page of the printer itself. Like I said earlier, mine's HP OfficeJet Pro 8600 series and here it is. And I also can open up the home page of the TCP Converter 2 to change the configuration. You just need the default username and password, which is admin in both fields. And here is the configuration page. You have the setup. Here you can change the information about the IP address as well as your USB port or your RS-232 port, depending on which one you're using. And whenever you make any changes, you just want to click Save and Reboot at the bottom. Here's a, a window to change your password, and there's also a window to check the status of your TCP converter. And there's also a help window that has the, an error log and uh, also has a link to the user manual. So anyway, back to this example. I'm going to show you exactly how this works. And I'm, today I'm using a, an HID iClass card, and I'll show you a close-up picture. Down at the bottom is this five digit number, the 00044, and it, you can actually manipulate the output of the reader to match this number, and if you want specifics on how to do that, you'll want to look at another video on this, on Elotech's YouTube channel, which is the Tech Tracer video, and it'll show you step by step on how to do that, but I already have it set up to do so. So I'm going to open up my printers, and I'm using this printer here, and I'm going to send a test page to the printer, and I'm also going to pull up the status bar of that printer. And you can see that that test page is currently in the pause status. But when I scan this card, it's going to switch from pause to printing. And in order to do this, you need a print management software. And there's a number of them out there to choose from. But basically what it does is it links this, this five-digit number on this card to my username so that when I scan my card, that it knows it's me and the print job is uh, approved. And here's my page. Okay, so there's some additional features to the TCP Converter 2 when compared to the first TCP Converter. First of all is that it will reduce the number of IP addresses. This is an issue as some IT service companies will charge you based on the number of IP addresses on your network. So if you're using, using the first TCP Converter along with a printer, 
the TCP converter will take on an IP address of its own. So if you have 10 printers with 10 TCP converters, you're looking at 20 total IP addresses, and you can see how this becomes expensive. Now, the great thing about the T TCP converter too, is, as if you look at this diagram, if it's connected to a printer, it will take on the IP address of the printer and then designate a separate IP address using its own internal private network. That way, in the same example with 10 printers now, instead of using the TCP converter 2, you still only have 10 IP addresses, which will save you money. It's also easier to implement third-party products. The TCP converter 2 is Linux-based, so if you're connecting to other devices such as a keypad or fingerprint reader that are also Linux-based, there's no need to install the local drivers as the Linux drivers are already provided. Okay, as I showed you before, the TCP Converter 2 can be configured with your web browser. The, T the first TCP Converter, you needed a, a configuration tool within the admin pack. And finally, the mini USB port, as I mentioned before. This is not on the first TCP Converter, and it can be used in a couple different ways. One is to connect to an external Android display, and you can also use it to allow the TCP Converter 2 to be used as a product ID or PID translator. And I'll give you an example. Some printers aren't compatible directly with the TWN4. And if you look at this diagram, there's the mini USB here running to a regular USB cable. And if you were to plug this cable into your printer and then connect the TWN4 here, it actually masks the TWN4 and the printer will think it's communicating with the TWN3 when in fact it's communicating with the TWN4. Okay, that's about it for this video. If you'd like to purchase a TCP Converter 2 or have any customer support needs, please be sure to send an email to either the first or second address you see there, depending on where you are. Our technical support team is the third email down. If you need the admin pack or having any technical issues at all, please be sure to send them a note and they'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you look at the description below the video, you'll find a link to the data sheet for the TCP Converter 2 and also the technical manual. Once again, I'm JT Tepley with Elotech. Thanks for watching.